With this, you get constant resistance all the way through the full range of motion. Hey everybody, this is John Shoemate with LiveAnabolic.com, the place for guys like me over 60 who want to get in shape. I would know I'm 61 years old and I can help you get into some of the best shape of your life overall. So today, I'm going to show you how to do some quick back and bicep work. We're only going to do five exercises. We're going to do three for your back, we're going to do two for your biceps. Now you may wonder, why do you do bi back and biceps paired together? Well, the reason being that when you're doing pull exercises for your back, you actually are using your biceps at the same time. So you can fatigue the biceps while you're doing your back work, and then we isolate the biceps and we blast them, get good anabolic response on it that way. So we're gonna work the biceps, and in the back, we're gonna work all the major groups of the back. We're gonna work the rhomboids, the lats, the deltoids, and a bunch of other in there as well too. Now, before we start our exercises, you always want to warm up. Just take about a 10 minute period. All you need to do is elevate your heart rate just slightly, maybe break into a light sweat. Uh, you can run lightly on your treadmill if you want to. You can do jumping jack intervals where you do jumping jacks for 30 seconds and rest for 30 seconds. If you have an extra cycle, you can get on that. It doesn't matter. You can do anything at all. Now, posture is really important and I always talk about this. We want to have good posture. We want to make sure that we're protect protecting our spine. So whenever we do our exercises, we're going to be standing up straight. We're going to have our head in a neutral position, chin slightly down, slightly back, and we're going to do a core squeeze. Two parts to the core squeeze. Find the spot right below your belly button and pull it in really hard and squeeze your glutes at the same time. This makes you solid around the core and make sure that your musculature is supporting you and not your spine. And with most of these exercises, and the same is true today, we want to do three sets. So you're going to do each exercise three times and you're going to do 12 reps. All the science shows that that's the best way, the most optimal way to do the exercises. A lot of ways to change that up if you want to but that's the gold standard. So guys, the first back exercise we're gonna to do today is just the seated row. Seated row is a great base exercise for your upper back. So you're gonna get at the cable machine, just like we are right now. Um, we're gonna work when we come back. I wanna make sure that we've got our shoulder blades coming together. You wanna to think in terms of actually trying to touch your shoulder blades together. Think about if you had a pencil back there and you were trying to hold that pencil and keep it from hitting the ground, that's how far back you wanna try and stretch and contract. It really gets the rhomboids good. At the same time, we're gonna hit the latissimus dorsi. We're also gonna get a little bit of the rear delt, part of the back of the shoulder. At the same time, as I mentioned before, we're gonna work the bicep some as well too. So really simple, you're gonna lean forward. Again, even though we're seated, seated we're gonna have great posture. We're gonna do our core squeeze and we're simply gonna pull back all the way, squeeze those shoulder blades together and come forward and back and squeeze together and forward and back and squeeze together. You can do this on a count. So you can do a one, two, three, hold one, and then go out one, two. One, two, three, hold, and one, two. At the same time on your breathing, I want you to Exhale while you're contracting. <sighs> Inhale while you're doing your negative. <sighs> you're gonna do three sets of those, 12 reps a piece. All right, great job guys. So now we're gonna superset with the bicep isolation. So with the bicep, it's important we keep our elbow still. Check your posture, make sure you're standing up straight and tall. Do your core squeeze, make sure your neck is neutral. When we do our bicep curl with the dumbbell, we're gonna come up, curl in, hold like this, and we're gonna come back down. Watch my elbow, watch how my elbow does not move. Now there's a lot of ways to do these, but you can quicken your exercise by doing alternating dumbbell curls. So as we go down with one, we're gonna come up with the other, and it's really simple. Good posture, and up, and alternate, and up, and alternate, and up, and alternate. Just like that. 
and make sure three sets, 12 reps a piece. Super job. Now, we're gonna go to what we call just underhanded lat downs. Back to the back exercises, back to the compound move. Again, you're gonna work your bicep again while you're doing this exercise, whether you know it or not. Now, for this exercise, I like to go close grip and underhand. For guys in our age group over 60, a lot of times you put too much stress on your shoulders. Uh, the way this exercise is done a lot is you do an overhand wide grip, just like this. That can be hard on the shoulders. So let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's go underhand and let's go co close grip. You won't work the lats quite as much, but you'll hit the arms really well and you will still work the lats. So we're gonna grab right here and we're gonna sit down. Again, really great posture. You wanna make sure your neck is neutral and we're gonna pull all the way down until our elbows go all the way down. We lock out and we're gonna hold. And then we come back up and we can count this. We can count a one, two, three, hold one, and then out, one, two. And remember, breathe out, breathe in. And don't forget, you're gonna do three sets of 12 reps. Okay, super job guys. Now we're gonna go back to blasting the biceps again. This is one of my personal favorites for the biceps. It's just rope curls. Now one of the reasons I like that is that when you do free weights like dumbbells, once you get past the halfway point, you're kind of underneath the weight and it lessens the fatigue on your bicep. With this, you get constant resistance all the way through the full range of motion. Okay, so we're gonna get our rope in both hands just like this and we're gonna check our posture. We're gonna do our core squeeze and elbow will stay still. And we come up and we squeeze and we come down. And we come up and we squeeze. Do this on a count. One, two, three, and hold one, and down one, two. And you wanna exhale, inhale. Just like that, and three sets, 12 reps. So great job, guys. See how easy this is to stay in shape? Now we're already to our fifth exercise, going back to the compound back moves. We're gonna do a T-bar row here. This is a great compound exercise. Now I wanna point out, you wanna make sure that you don't have any back issues before you do this, and you've done some fundamental back work to uh, develop your back strength overall. But this is just really simple. Um, you get the weight that you want on an Olympic bar like this, okay? We're gonna get about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna keep our back straight and drop our rear end and just grab the bar right here with both hands. You can stand up slightly like this. Remember, it's critical that your back stay straight. You wanna get your neck neutral and simply pull up and squeeze and back down. And up and squeeze and back down. Remember, like with the rows, when you come up, you wanna squeeze those shoulder blades together and go down. And you can do it on a count. One, two, three, hold one, and down one, two. And then watch your breathing. And again, you wanna do three sets, 12 reps. Guys, awesome job. Five quick exercises, we hit our back and we hit our biceps. Now, if you wanna watch more of these videos, click the like button to subscribe. And as always, Obstacles are what you see when you lose sight of the goal. Keep working guys, we'll see you next time.